Milk? No, 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 no. I like orange juice. Okay, so today I am gonna go try and fit my front lip finally, my first carbon part of my car. So the whole bottom end is gonna kind of be carbon. I'm not a fan of black on carbon, never have been, but for with me, I'm gonna do it very subtly and make it work. So I'm gonna go fit my front lip, and then, um, that'll probably be me for the day, I reckon. I doubt I'm gonna have time to try and test fit my side skirts. Still debating whether I should wrap my car or paint my car. Painting is more ideal, I feel, but wrapping is easier, cheaper, and I just don't like people taking my car apart when I'm not around, really. Uh, and wrapping I can probably, probably maybe do myself. Who knows, we'll see. So, I'm gonna go remove my front bumper, fit the splitter, well, my lip, that's kinda got a built-in splitter. And then she'll start finally looking the part. It's gonna be good, I can't wait. Super Saiyan mode. Um, so, here it is. This is the uh, Daymotors front splitter. All the way from Japan, man. Uh, it's got a little bit of damage on it in places. It's just scuffed a little bit and not as clean as I'd like it to be. But to be honest, I think most of it happened maybe uh, when customs got a hold of it. I was basically going to wait until I got it sorted um, and repaired and cleaned up before I put it on. But then I thought about it and I've just put the tains on. And I think I might lower it a little bit more, but I need to get this on first, see where everything's sitting. Cause this is going to be probably one of the lowest points. I don't want to put it on, scrape over a speed bump immediately, and then damage it again. So, I might as well put it on now, if it scrapes. It scrapes. If it dies, if it dies. And then I can get it all repaired at the same time. Buddy of mine reckons it will be able to sort of re-clear coat it. I'm going to obviously have to take the front bumper off to do this. Uh, Got to figure it out because I've never actually had the front bumper off. So what I'm going to do is, pretty sure, there are two bolts behind here I need to get to, so I'm going to have to remove the headlights. Bolt there, bolt there, bolt there, bolt there. And then this comes out nice and easy. You just got to wiggle it around the latch a little bit. And underneath, there's a couple of bolts all the way along here. Apparently they tend to break. Um, I've had this off before um, to change my radiator, and I realised that. All of these are brand new under here and the fact that my side trims have got these screws in definitely tells me it's been off before so I don't think I should have too much trouble taking it off to be honest because they look brand new this is nice and easy um, with these on the outside and I've got a couple underneath to remove and the under tray yeah, shouldn't be too bad. So first thing we need to do is make sure these headlights stay up while we're working on them. Um, my old MR2, the if you put it back down to uh, just side lights, they used to stay up if you turn them on. Um, the, the lights would go off and the and they'd stay up. But this car doesn't do it. I don't know if that's an import thing or just specific to mine. So what you need to do to keep them up, if you take off the fuse box lid it's this one here 30 amp RTR if you pull that one out now you can turn off the lights and they should stay up even have to work on them without having to worry okay well you have to pull this out like so Remove all of the screws and this pretty much lifts straight out. You just got to twist it around this a little bit. Um, if you're worried about twisting this or you've got a carbon one fitted or whatever, take this off. There's two 12 mils in there and that just drops off and it's a lot easier to get off that way. Um, we're going to undo these screws in the side, get the covers off and then 10 mils, 10 mils, 
I should be able to lift this out of the way. done so plenty of space to work on now so I'm going to undo these two nuts afterwards obviously repeat on the other side and then good to go two nuts out both sides these off it should be two or three nuts on the inside holding this strip in then from here as well you can actually see everything that needs to come out from underneath so obviously these are all screws have got to come out underneath remove the uh, under tray front under tray just unplug the lights and everything from here get all of these screws under here one in there one in there all the way along and there is one here behind the wheel arch you may or may not need to jack it up for this part because um, the screws under here are obviously quite low to the ground if you've got a stubby screwdriver should get in there just about okay if not I've got one of these bits that I can put on a ratchet spanner and put a bit drive in which makes life a lot easier for this sort of thing and the tray's off take off this 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 is all the way around and get that bad boy on so it came with some instructions um, yeah basically put these there that's what that says no problem so I'm gonna WD-40 all of these as you do every time you touch a car like this probably still gonna break I've got these under here these ones are all Allen heads as well. Then I'm gonna give this a paint because the red is bugging me. I'll just get that little sand. I thought I'd be able to take it off, um, but it's actually welded to this, and I don't want to take this off right now. So I just paint it in place, and I may take the badge off and give that a little green as well because everything needs to be green. All green, everything. So what do we think? I've got Kawasaki green, matte green, peel coat, Hulk candy green. I've got a lot of green paint. I've got this one. That one's not a bad color actually. Even a candy or that. I'm gonna test them. Yeah. Breeding. That's the one, definitely. I gave this a little spray up. So now this is green and the badge also green.
go ham with a drill. Try and get these holes where I need them to be because they're way off. Okay, front lip is installed and I'm going to scrape so badly. Right now I need to put my badge back on and screw it from the back somehow because everything broke off and I'm going to get some nuts, these nuts and I'm going to secure them here with some Q-Bond so that way I can release the bumper from the outside without having to take this off. And then I've got these quick releases. I'm going to drill into the side so that way, again, I can release it from the outside without taking it off. And it should just be three bolts underneath. Put this one, maybe one, two in. So that way, it's nice and quick if I ever get stuck. Okay, I'm, all, I'm gonna fit the quick releases and it's gonna be the most painful thing because I've actually got a drill into my front wing and that is just heartbreaking. Um, and uh, I only get one chance, so everything's gotta be measured properly. I'm gonna draw into the bumper first and that way I can get everything fitted back and I've still got access to the inside of here. So then I can fit the, uh, this one and space it Right, but if I can get it spaced perfectly to start with, then it should be okay. But then at least I can choose where I need this one. I drew the hole in my car. Bumper back on, now time for the the worst part. I've got to take this to actual metal rather than fiberglass. So uh, drill a hole there, connect these together, and then headlights back in, fog lights on, we're pretty much good to go.
time for taking the headlight covers off. They never go back in quite the same position, so don't put the shrouds on yet. Um, I'll put the fuse back in for the headlight motor. And then, you can close the bonnet, pop them up and down and check them to make sure they line up straight with the bonnet and the body and everything. And then once you've got them right, then you can slip the shrouds on. So I need to lower this one a little bit and twist it slightly, raise the back one. And this one needs to be pushed up a bit, twisted, raised. Yeah, I've got to do a lot. <laughs> I made it in time, car is done. Yeah, so I need to get changed quick and then find a well lit place because as you can see it got dark. And then I can show you how she looks and do a speed bump test. <laughs> Cause I don't think I'm gonna make it over the one down the road and that's the only way out of here. So that's gonna be fun, it's in a bit. I didn't realize the time, so I'm on my way out now, I've gotta meet people, um, so yeah. I'm gonna go do a speed bump test and get on my way and then once I get to location hopefully I can uh, find a nice well lit spot and show you the finished result <sighs> she looks good I'm I'm happy oh, she's finally turning into a little beast <sighs> all green everything right let's go 